Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is MaxiCode. Welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about the feasibility. So again we have a class car and uh, just one public property color and we assign the value red to make it a little bit easier for us to talk about visibility. So again uh, we can create a some car and I want to see the some cars color. Okay, let's just check that out. This this color is this car is red. Okay, okay, yeah, perfect. But uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to introduce another property, another uh, type of another visibility of that property, uh, which is protected. So we just introduced a new keyword protected and changed it right here changed nothing down down here and let's just check that out okay this is a fatal error we cannot access a protected property right here so we cannot access this property outside of this class hmm okay cool uh but why the hell do we really need it uh, well, the idea is damn simple. When I create my class, I know that uh, my color should be red or should be some reasonable name string. And if I made it public, I can uh, reassign it to maybe some car color and say two. And uh, this is gonna be two. and that's not a great idea so I can assign maybe even an array right here and just check and see that that this is array to string conversion because you know we we are seeing an array here and you know other maybe we have we will have some methods for example display a car and we will think that okay color is gonna be a uh, string and we want to just echo this string and well uh, you know somebody just said that this is going to be an array and we will have a php notice here so to get rid of that we can introduce a protected property so this is protected and for now again uh we cannot access it we also uh, have another visibility property and this is private okay let's just check that out well this is again almost the same. We cannot access a private property in car color. So why the hell do we really need protected and private two properties? So we have a public, let me list it right here, protected and private. Why the hell do we need protected and private? Because they act, uh, you know, like the same. Uh, well, the difference is when we uh, inherit these properties uh, in some subclasses, and uh, you know we are gonna talk about it a little bit later but for now uh, let me create a public method print and let's just create uh, another uh, variable of a size size is gonna be 10 and I want to see that variable as a public okay let's just say that we want to uh, say that we have a protected variable with a uh, on the wheels we want to see four wheels so and let's just echo these variables and this size echo these uh, wheels echo this color okay and uh, some car print Okay. Yeah, we ha we are gonna have a size of ten wheels, four, and color, and the color red. So inside our class, we can access uh, this uh, all these vi you know public, private, and protected properties. So uh, because we have a public method, uh, but we also can have a protected. function I don't know print some stuff echo let's just say some stuff 
and uh, oh, let's just ch check that out but we cannot access it again because we, we are calling a protected method okay and uh, let's just check it with some some stuff again Uh, let's just check it with again and yeah we have an uncaught error yeah call to a private method from a context yeah because we so we are not uh, so we're not allowed to call private and protected methods outside the class and we are not allowed to access protected and private properties outside this class but inside this class we can call print some stuff and uh, print some stuff again so we are allowed to call them uh, yeah, I'm sorry just need to update it to print and we can call them because so now we have uh, some stuff and some stuff again so uh, these methods are available in this class and uh, uh, yeah you may ask about the difference you know I mentioned before b between the protected and private because right here in the class they are totally available for us even uh, you know we, we we don't care either it's a property or a method so uh, they are ex uh, accessible right here in the class and they are not accessible outside of this class but the main difference between protected and private is that when we inherit so when we have a flying car again uh, this class extends a car class yeah, I'm sorry that's gonna be good yeah okay and uh, right here we want to say that uh, uh, we need a no we want to s introduce and another print function and we as we inherited the size the wheels the color so we want to say that we want to echo the I don't know size just just another way of printing this stuff okay let's just um, add it wheels okay and color so okay uh, let's just check our type to flying car and let's just get the another print okay perfect so we have a uh, we extended uh, our flying car class from the car class and introduced another function of another print uh, where we defined another way of presenting our data then we created an object and uh, called the method another print so we use these variables size wheels and color inherited from a base class car so public protected and private so let's just check that out okay we have a size we have an access to a size variable this is 10 we have wheels uh, which is protected so again wheels are, is protected and uh, this is an undefined property color because this is private so okay again uh, uh, private variables uh, private properties I'm sorry are only accessible within this class public ma uh, public properties are accessible all over the your entire application and protected uh, properties are accessible only in this class and all its subclasses so right here or we can say we want to create a flying car another flying car class and extend it from uh, this flying car cl uh, class so this is going to be a subclass of this car too so protected properties are available uh, down here and private are not so uh, the same with this uh, print some stuff and print some stuff again so let's just check that out so let's just access the print some stuff and check that this is gonna work yeah this works because we have some stuff right here and uh, if we call a private method These, you know so yeah we have a final error uh, because you know we have a call to a private method 
and uh, we den and this private method is defined in a base class. So okay, this is uh, the basic idea between the these uh, visibility properties of the public, protected, private. So again, public you can access it anywhere in your application. Protected you can access uh, this property or uh, this method within this class and all its subclasses. And private damn simple only within this class. So uh, either it's a method or it's a property. So that is all for now. Uh, make sure you get that. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you in the very next video.